so I'm press up at CBS and, uh, and, and some journalists got up and walked out of the room crying, but we were all weren't sure why. We were like, what happened? <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> um, did you ever have any of your own hoop dreams? No, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I think I have retrospective hoop dreams now. I kind of like wish that I started playing when I was younger uh, because I love playing basketball now, but I didn't really even start playing basketball too seriously until I was like 21 or 22 or something like that. Um, so I, I wish I picked up a basketball when I was three years old. But uh, How come you were such a late bloomer? <laughs> um, I don't know. I just wasn't too into team sports when I was a kid. I was more into like skiing or skateboarding or swimming or like, like I don't know. I kind of like got turned off from like the, you know, like I had an aversion to, to the idea of like jocks and teams and things like that. You know, I know a lot about high school basketball because I know the coach of Rhode Island, and he's always saying, show me a kid, show me a kid. <laughs> um, there's so much pressure on these, on these kids. Um, can you talk about that, what you discovered? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's, there is a lot of pressure on them to succeed. I think especially for a lot of these kids that, that come from, uh, from, from, uh, poor backgrounds, you know, like, like uh, rougher neighborhoods. Um, I think, in, I mean, you see the difference in the film, that the film profiles eight different players, and, and there are some of them that come from very kind of comfortable homes, comfortable backgrounds. If they don't make it into the NBA, if they don't, if something happens, they're gonna, you know, uh, go back to that comfortable home and figure something out. Uh, but uh, for some of these other kids, they're really, they're, their families are counting on them and hoping that this is, this is a way out of the neighborhood and and to a, a different lifestyle and um, and yeah the, in that there's a tremendous amount of pressure on them to succeed. Did you did you relate to any of these kids at all? I mean, in the height of the BC Boys, I'm sure you were wooed by sponsors and you know you had to have all the glamour and the media was after you. Did you relate to these kids? Somewhat. I mean, you know, the, our first record came out when I was still in high school and uh, and and. A little bit, but uh, but I, I almost think that they are they're seeing more pressure <clears throat> than I did as uh, at that age because you know our band was like a punk band when I was in high school. It was a smaller thing. Like like these guys are are 15, 16, 17 years old and sort of like about to step out onto this international stage. That that's like a huge thing. So it's a, it's a little different. I mean, how 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 are these kids sort of groomed for the spotlight? Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, most of them, they, they kind of have natural talent anyway. I mean, all of them, I'm sure. But, uh, but they also have kind of different kinds of coaches around them, different leagues. There's, uh, uh, there are financial advisors interested in them, sneaker companies that are, that are interested in them. The sneaker companies want to lock in that next Michael Jordan, and, and the only way that they're probably going to be able to do that is to, you know, find him when he's in high school or, uh, or even junior high school and so from a very young age there's there's a lot of people seeking these kids out. Now did you get to meet any of like your favorite NBA all-stars while you're making this documentary? I mean we really the focus was on these kids. It, it was cool that like Ben Gordon and, uh, and Jason Kidd came and, and they were they were like uh, I guess coaches at the uh, at the thing and it was cool to, to see them there and to meet them but um but yeah, the, the, really the focus was on these kids and it was, that was the interesting part to me. Now this is your second documentary. Do you think someday you'd like to direct a feature? I like to think a documentary is a feature, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, a narrative, yeah. I mean, I would, uh, it's definitely something I'm interested in doing, dir directing a narrative. I think I probably need to, I, I, I need to, to learn to work with actors a bit, I think would be, would be the next step on that. But, Thank you.